am Linda Perry from VH1's the Make or Break the Linda Perry Project. You are watching OKMagazine.com. I feel that when you write a song and you put it out there, it's open for interpretation. Like, people should be able to talk about it. There's so many more artists. There's so much more talk. Talk, 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 right? But we were saying this, but in a very lower volume about Carly Simon's You're So Vain. That was what, the 70s? We're in 2014. Life is moving and it's multiplying. So nothing's different happening, really. It's just, it just seems a lot because it's just more of it. That's an interesting question because it's a weird one for me. I, I still can't get past the 70s, all right? I just ventured back into the 80s, <laughs> which I'm loving. I'm like, oh yeah, I love the 80s. I'm making my way up to 2014. Sometimes Twitter, like send me some new music. I'll find some really cool stuff through that. Try to listen to as much as possible because I believe everybody, you know, deserves a chance. As I'm speaking to you, this is really a new plan. I need to figure it out because I need to put a little Linda Perry project on my ass right now and start doing some of that mojo on myself. Married life is great because it hasn't changed at all. We were doing good going in and we're doing good right now. I feel proud to be a part of this awesome woman's life and to look forward to this beautiful future together. We stood in line and got a certificate that said that we're legally married. I'm really, really super excited about and super proud of. I surprised her with some really great music with Del Bazio from Missing Persons, Terry Nunn from Berlin, Annabella from Bow Wow Wow, Martha Davis from The Motels. It was so much fun because to see her face, like when all these women just kind of start coming out and showing up, like one by one. It was just a really great day. It just felt good because it just felt like the right day.